this next poem is a. Uh, the title is from uh, Katie Hill, who she does. Uh, you know when people blog on the internet, and then they they just randomly talk about things. She came up with a word on one of hers, and it was confluction. And I was like, that's a great word. So I used that as the title for this piece because I had a poem without a title, and here it is now. This is confluction, titled by Katie Hill. The rest of the poem by Ryan Mark. When people know that you write poetry and people know that you publicly read poetry, they do on occasion ask you who you like to read. There are thousands of writers you can say, but most subscribe to a genre and subsequently the most successful renowned names of that genre in order to trigger by association what that writer's body of work has become to represent the, in the collective conscious. If somebody wants you to think that they're brilliant, they'll say they like Shakespeare. If somebody wants you to think that they're profound, they'll say they love Sylvia Plath. If they want you to believe them as morbid, they'll say Edgar Allan Poe or Trent Reznor. If they want you to think that they don't care what you think, they'll say Ginsburg or Lee Poe or Gigi Allen, because he was so out there. As much as I love poetry, I rarely finish reading a whole book of poetry. For every five books of poetry I begin, I read usually just two of them. And I blame this not on the writers of these books, but rather my jaded, cynical outlook. By the tenth page, most poets cease to be artists and appear as bakers, cookie-cutting the same four or five patterns, and it bores me to tears. Yeah, you're horny, I get it. Or, you're depressed, poor thing. Next. Chicken next? Poetry alone on the page rarely pops or pleases, or displays any kind of vitality. Poetry is, in this regard, very close to sheet music, in that on a page it appears merely instructions, bloodless, lifeless. Even some inspired, powerful piece, such as Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, written down on a page, is an impotent pile of suggested notes and time signatures, but when performed, the opening dun 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 da dun 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 da it makes the hair stand on end and goosebumps go up. Poetry was meant to be read aloud, performed. People who write poems and do not perform them like to hide behind self-inflicted titles and conditions. They'll tell you that it isn't just ready just yet. They'll tell you that maybe they'll read it to you one day, just not today and definitely not tomorrow. But take it from me, a longtime performer of self-written works, that these private emperors are not wearing any clothes. People who write and don't share it aren't introverted perfectionists. People who write and don't share it are tourists. And everybody hates a tourist except casinos because C-notes and larger bills is all they know, their only concern. I encourage you to share your wares. I await your ideas on bated breath. <laughs>